Hello everyone! This time I'm going to make a resin geode tray and I'm going to use an amazing holographic mold for this. Uh, again, I'm going to apply the flower technique on two layers of resin to create a nice depth. So I hope you will enjoy watching my video and will give me a thumbs up for it. So I already started with a thin layer of resin into my uh, Geoda tray mold and I'm using uh, the mold from Molds and Shapes and they have amazing mold so I'm just in love with the holographic effect so um, this tray mold also has the holographic effect already in the silicon mold so if you're interested in their silicon molds, the link to the website is in the description below this video. I also have a promo code for their website. If you use my code JUSTPAINT5, then you will get 5% discount. So I already started also with the colors. The first color that I used is from Etter Art and it's a resin ink in the color Praline. I hope I, pro I pronounce it okay. The second color is also from Etic Art and it's called Campari. And the third, the dark red color is called Sangria. In the center I just added the Let's Resin uh, white alcohol ink and some of the Campari. So we are 15 minutes later and I'm going to add the flower design. And for this white color, I only used uh, Resitint Max Titanium White, so no Let's Resin Alcohol ink in it, only the Resitint Max. And now I'm going to make some lines from the center to the outside, there you can see it. And the resin that I'm using is from a Resin Pro, it's the medium viscosity resin and it's called Art Pro Resin. So I waited five, uh, 15 minutes and uh, so the white color that, that I'm now adding is uh, uh, really thin. I want to see what kind of effect I can create with that. And what you need to know, I only added yeah, a little bit of the white paste into the resin. So really not too much, because if you add too much, the color will get too heavy, and then it will for sure sink to the bottom, or drop to the bottom. So this is only the first layer. So there will be a layer on top of this one to create hopefully a nice depth. Now I'm using my embossing tool to remove air bubbles, but also to create some effects. But all the colors that I've used in this video you can find at the end of the video but also in the description below this video with the link to the website. And the resin inks that I'm uh, using are from uh, Etter Art, as I mentioned. And you can buy them on the website resinkunst.de. It's a German website. Yeah, unfortunately, they only ship within Europe. But if you order from uh, this website and you use my code, promo code, Petra10, then you will get 10% discount. So that's uh, a really nice discount. But all the information to that is below this video in the description. So now I make some lines to drag the Sangria color a little bit to the outside, but also the white lines that I added on top. And to create a, a nice effect or a nice flower, you only need a thin layer of resin, so not too thick because then the, you won't get that nice bloom effect. And, very important, I mention it again, 
not too much white paste. And also the waiting time uh, before you add the white uh, lines is important because the resin needs to become a little bit thicker before you add the flower design. But yeah, that's what you need to experiment with because we all don't use the same resin and the viscosity is different between uh, the different brands of resin. And also the working time is different. I'm using a resin that has a working time of one and a half hours. But there is also uh, a resin that only has 35 minutes working time. So then you don't need to wait that long before you add the flower design. But now this time I'm, go I'm experimenting because I only waited 15 minutes to see what effect I can create uh, with that. And by not adding too much white paste, it almost looks like it's transparent. That little paste you need to add. Again, I'm using my embossing tool to uh, hopefully spread the white lines. So I'm almost done with this layer and um, I will let it dry and then I will add the second layer. We are one hour later and I wanted to show you how it looked after one hour of drying. The red, the sangria color has spread to the outside. I really love the effect already. So hopefully it will stay this way. A little bit closer. There you can see the lines that I added and the darker color, that is the uh, resin ink in the color praline and the yellow color is the Campari but so far I'm liking uh, the effect So we are 24 hours later, I'm going to add the second layer. Again, I'm using the Art Pro resin from Resin Pro. So first, a thin layer of clear resin. Then I use my heat gun to remove air bubbles, but also to make the resin a little bit more liquid. Adding a little bit more. But the first layer dried very well. I love the effects. And hopefully I can create uh, two nice uh, sides. So I'm going to use the uh, Campari color again. There you can see it. A little bit to the outside. Not too much to the center. Because I don't want to cover up the whole first layer. Because then you can create uh, a really nice depth. If you can see 
the fir uh, first layer still. And on the outside, I'm adding some really nice glitter. It's an iridescent uh, white glitter. And uh, this glitter is from Glitter Queen. The link to her website is in the description below this video. And I also have a promo code for her website. If you use my code PETRA10, then you will get 10% discount on your order. So that's amazing. With all the information to that, is in the description. Again, we are 15 minutes later, and again, I'm going to add the white lines. Now you can see it now in a different pattern. On the first layer, I made lines, now, I'm, yeah, some curly lines hopefully that's an English word but also some lines that go all the way to the outside there you can see it And what I already mentioned in the beginning, I, I love the holographic effect. I uh, made uh, coasters with that effect. I will add a link in the right corner, then you can uh, see how it looks. But this tray also has the holographic effect. So I'm so curious how the other side of this tray will look uh, when I take it out of the mold. Again, I make some lines from the inside to the outside, there you can see it, and I drag the white line to the outside, but also some of the color I added, the Campari color. And hopefully this will give me a nice effect. And what I also already know is that the white color I added and the yellow color will flow to the center. I don't know why, but always when you uh, use a silicon mold, the color will flow to the center. Hopefully that will also give me a nice effect. Yeah, this takes some time. Yeah, and just as I did on the first layer, I'm going to add some heat with my embossing tool. There you can see it. To hopefully spread the white lines and create a nice effect yeah and I also want to mention there are some um, uh, exciting videos coming up um, in one video I'm going to uh, compare four different white pastes with each other to see uh, if there is a difference in the effects 
to create uh, that flower, uh, 3D flower that we like so much. So that's one of the videos that is coming up. And um, for sure I'm going to uh, uh, experiment with the Druzy Crystal Edge more. And there is also coming up a new color video because I'm going to add new colors to my Just Paint Mica uh, collection. So very exciting. So we are 24 hours later and now I can take it out of the mold and what I already mentioned, the color and the white did flow to the center but also to the outside. So that's great. And how this side looks, yeah, I like it very much but I'm very curious how the other side looks with the holographic effect in it. So now we can take a closer look. I'm already pleased with how this side looks, so hopefully the other side is also pretty. Then I have both sides that I can use. And there you can see it totally different. I love the Sangria color. Yeah, amazing. And this is the end result. So this is the side, how I poured it. Some really nice, I love these colors together. And the effects are amazing and the depth is, yeah, it's great. Hopefully you can see it. And the holo holographic effect, yeah, I think it looks amazing. Also on this side, but on the other side you can see it more. So if you are interested in the, this great mold or other molds, the link to the website of Molds and Shapes is in the description below this video. Don't forget my promo code. And this is the other side. Yeah, I like this side also with the nice sangria color around the center. Really great effects. So let me know what you think of my resin geode tray with holographic effects. Hopefully you will give me a thumbs up for this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider it. All the, all the supplies I've used you can find at the end of the video. But also in the description below this video. All the information about my promo codes is in the description so there's a lot of information there. But I'm very pleased how this resin tray turned out. So let me know what you think. I want to thank you all for watching. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.